Hi guys, I hope you have done well on CSIR June 2019 Chemical Sciences. Here we are analyzing organic problem of part C of CSIR June 2019 Chemical Sciences. Watch the video completely to get correct answer with a detailed explanation. Okay, right. So just look at the given problem. Here the major product formed in the following reaction is as in the problem solving skills, the first step we need to look at the functional groups on the given substrate okay right if you look at the substrate here we have primary alcohol as a branch on it and just go to uh, reagent combinations and uh, reaction conditions as a second step in problem solving skills and just look at them here we have given with NOCl pyridine and photochemical conditions followed by H2SO4 now just try to give uh, labeling on the branch that is primary alcohol branch on substrate here alpha beta gamma and delta so here on delta carbon we have hydrogens right so just look at the uh, reagent combinations and reaction conditions we have given with NOCl pyridine and H photochemical conditions so by just observing all these we need to remind the name of reaction that is Barton reaction okay so whenever our mind clicks Barton reaction the first step easy here for this given problem okay now just try to give the mechanism by just using bark Barton type of mechanism here on the given substrate and just stay with me so here we are going to give each and every step for this uh, problem to give the correct product yeah now so just draw the structure of the given substrate okay right here we have given with NOCl and pyridine we know that pyridine is a base can abstract acidic protons so here is a formation of negative charge on oxygen that is going to attack on NOCl and here chlorine cleaves as Cl minus okay so in total the loss of HCl takes place and we can get this structure okay just just stay with me and here O H uh, N O okay so sorry O N O right in the next step we have given with photochemical conditions H nu right and in photochemical conditions the homolytic cleavage takes place between oxygen and nitrogen and carbon and hydrogen that is delta carbon and hydrogen okay now in the next step the formed radical NO radical attack on delta carbon radical and the hydrogen radical which cleaves here going to attack on oxygen radical okay right in the next step we can draw the structure like this OH and here N double bond O. Okay, here we have hydrogen, and uh, in the reaction mixture we have pyridine, which is a base and which can induce the cleavage of carbon and hydrogen here, and bond electrons goes here. Then the double bond electrons electrons in between nitrogen oxygen goes on oxygen because it is more electronegative, and it is going to attack on H plus. Okay right in that case the next step where we can draw this okay double bond n o h right now just come to here that is we have h2so4 we know that h2so4 produces h plus ions in reaction mixture and uh, the lone pair of electrons on oxygen going to attack h plus and whenever it attacks positive charge uh, makes on it then in the next step the cleavage going to take place here and rearrangement should be takes place now whenever we observe this hydroxylamine with st uh, that means uh, acidic conditions like h2s44 here one should remind the name reaction or rearrangement reaction that is beckman type of rearrangement reaction okay whenever our mind that answer will be easy right now here is the involvement of Beckman type of rearrangement in the next step what happens is simply cleavage of uh, water takes place and migration of the group should be takes place 
here it is very important in Beckman rearrangement that which group migrates. So here in general opposite to that OH group uh, the group will uh, migrate but here the we are not given specific position of hydroxy group on this nitrogen okay so in that in that case we need to look at the migratory aptitude of the groups so here we have tertiary carbon here we have secondary carbon right tertiary carbon migrate uh, that means it has a greater migratory aptitude than when we compare with secondary carbon in that case so it is going to uh, rearrange onto nitrogen that means uh, electron deficient nitrogen in uh, Beckman rearrangement okay right in the next step we can draw so just look at here so here we have so we can draw this and here with pass to charge now water which is eliminated here going to attack on this okay right now a water gets positive charge so compensated here and in the next step we can draw okay here OH and OH so simply uh, double bond goes on to nitrogen and negative charge is going to attack on hydrogen in that case you can see the second option where that is the final product okay right so here we have given step by step uh, mechanism for it and the problem involves two well-known name reactions bottle reaction bottle type of reaction and beckman rearrangement okay right i hope this video is helpful for you visit and join chemmasters.online website to join best online courses to get the success uh, or different competitive examinations on chemistry thank you very much